Good morning, Hi, church. Good morning, church. This is this time tomorrow. Mm-hmm. My name is John. And my name is Mimi. And what ki- what is your occupation, John? I work as a dental nurse okay. and also a hygienist mm. at the moment. Uh, but I'm actually a dentist from Hong Kong, and I'm undergoing exams to get my license. Mm, yes. Um, I um, well, I'm a full time mom. Um, um, with Justin, um, my little one, and but I'm still got a little bit of part time job. I'm doing some teachings in in Kent College, um, teaching Cantonese to the A level students. Yes. So, what would you be doing on Monday around this time tomorrow? Um, usually on Monday, um, around this time tomorrow, say ten ten thirty ish. Probably I will take Justin to to have a leisure walk. It depends on the weather. If the weather is alright, probably we will be in the park. Um, but if not, probably we will stay at home. Um, but we would love to get some fresh air during this time tomorrow. For me, I'll be <laughs> um, probably seeing the third or the fourth patients of the day working in Herne Bay Clinic. Yes. So, how does God use you there then? Um, God used me to heal the sick. I believe that uh, healing uh, is one of the miracles that Jesus has done mm. when he was on earth is is also part of a privilege that we can do. Um, that God is using us to heal the sick as well. He sent patients to us so that he can use our skills and expertise to to make them feel better and mm. be healthy again. Right. How about um, you? For me, I would say like um, um, well, taking Justin to the park or have a natural walk is just you know um, normal routine for us. But how does God use me there? I would say like it's just making some connection with um, the neighbors or the people that I bump into, or maybe some of the other moms and showing support and love, and especially like showing God's love as well. So, what encouragement can you offer to the church? Uh, in this second <laughs> this lockdown, time. this is we 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 are in uh, the second lockdown now, and this is a difficult time for most people. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can share a Bible verse, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, remember, it's from Ephesians chapter two, verse twelve to thirteen. It says. Remember that at that time you were separate from Christ, mm. and then it goes on to say, "Without hope and without God in the world." But now Christ Jesus, you who once were far away, have been brought near by the, the blood, blood of, of Christ. Christ. Um, it's just a good reminder mm. that we have Jesus as our source of mm. hope. We have hope and we have God in this world now mm. um, because of Jesus and we have joy as well mm. uh, so if you're feeling lonely or if you're feeling down um, try to remember that we have this secret weapon mm. um, but on the other hand if you're sort of privileged and God might be trying to use you as a channel as a tool to to share that love share that joy with mm. others who are in, who are less fortunate yes um also that is a choice for us if we are all like question we have a choice to choose to be joyful or, or not and every single day is just filled with many choices it really depends on on you and i think and i hope this encouragement can encourage you to remember that there is hope and there is joy um, it's actually from the Lord. It's not from the current situations, but it's from our Lord's Savior. We hope you have a joyful morning. See ya! Bye-bye!